Okay, so today we're gonna learn how to make two different planes. We're gonna learn how to make the spy plane and we're going to learn how to make an easy fighter jet plane, okay? Um, we're gonna start with a fighter jet because it's just a little bit challenging. Okay, to make the fighter jet, you're going to need a rectangular piece of paper, you're going to need a pencil and a pair of scissors, okay? We're gonna start by folding it in half like this, holding it hot dog portrait or the long up and down direction, and rub back and forth with planes, if you're going to um, want them to fly well, you're going to need to make nice hard creases. Then I'm going to take this side here and I'm going to bring it up like that and rub back and forth. So there's a little triangle now on top of my rectangle. With planes, if you crease those folds into nice hard folds, it'll fly much better for you. Turn the whole thing over and do the same thing with the other side, okay? So again, I have a triangle. This is the folded side. This is the open and closed side. All right, then open that whole thing up like this, and the point should be towards you. All right, um, and I'm going to take that point that we made here, and we're gonna bring it just up to here to those folds that we made before, like that, and rub back and forth. Then I'm going to bring this side, in to that point that we just folded, but also line it up with the middle fold like that, and it's gonna look like this coming out to the side, okay? Use your thumbnail and rub back and forth. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side like that, and I'm going to rub back and forth like that. All right, so it should look like this now. Then we're gonna take the point and bring it right here to the opposite side, so that my plane is going to look like an envelope now. Like that. Rub all of your folds so they're nice hard folds. Maybe even crease them with your thumbnail. All right, that point for our envelope that we just brought down here, we're going to bring back past this top fold, okay, but not all the way out. So it's gonna come off the paper about this far, and there's gonna be maybe two fingered widths right here on both sides, okay? So it's gonna end up looking like this now with the point off the paper a little bit. Okay, please turn the whole thing over to the smooth side. All right, we're gonna have the point here to the right-hand side. Here's our center fold right here. And what we're going to do is um, we're gonna fold the whole thing in half like this. Have those two edges meet each other at the top. Rub back and forth so you have a nice hard fold. All right, then our next step is going to be to open it up. It should look like this right now, but we're not gonna open it up all the way. We're gonna have about a thumb's width space down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna put my fingers down here to remember. And just that top piece, I'm gonna open back like this so that there is a little piece of it that's not going to be open all the way, all right? And this wing down here should be shorter and smaller than this wing up here at the top. Okay, rub back and forth, crease all those folds so they're nice hard folds. Turn the whole thing over like this. Then you're going to bring this top and line it up here, not only on the bottom, but over here on this side, okay? So I'm bringing this piece down like this, making sure it's lined up here at the bottom and on the side, and when it is, I'm gonna hold it with my fingers while I'm rubbing back and forth on all those folds, okay? Tops, sides, and bottoms. All right, so when you lift your plane up like this, these are gonna become our two wings, but not quite yet. We're gonna open it up like this, so our point is towards our left-hand side, and the open and closed wings are up at the top, okay? All right. Then what you're going to do is now it's time for your pencil. Leaving it folded in half like this with a point to your left hand side. I'm gonna come in drawing my tail. Here's a fold that we made for the wings. I'm gonna be about two fingers width above it and I'm gonna come in like this. I'm gonna come down to this fold we were just talking about. Here like this with my pencil. I'm gonna draw it across like this and when I hit this folded part right here, 
I'm going to go straight up like that, okay? Then I want you to hold it folded, and I'm gonna cut only on that line, keeping it folded. I'm gonna come in here, and when I hit this part here where the point and the wings are, I'm gonna stop because it's too hard a turn for me to make with my scissors. So I'm gonna go over to the other side, make sure everything's still folded, and I'm gonna come from that wing side straight into that corner, and you'll see that piece of paper will fall away for you. Okay, what we've done is we've made our wings, so you can fold those open like that, and our tail, you can fold those open like that. Okay, then the wings, just so it does more tricks, I'm gonna make a little fold so it's up like this on this side, and it's up like this on this side, and you're ready to give your fighter plane a try. All right, so let's get busy with the spy plane next. Okay, for our spy plane, all we need is one piece of paper. Um, we're gonna hold it in the portrait, up and down direction, hot dog direction, and we're going to fold it in half first. Remembering to make a nice hard crease, and then open it up. And we're gonna do a roll fold. Your first fold should be about the width of your thumb or maybe about an inch. So guesstimate about an inch and rub back and forth here at the bottom. Okay, make a nice hard fold. Okay, then for rolling it, you're just gonna flip it on top of itself. So we folded it once. Here's our second roll, like this. And rub back and forth, crease those folds so it flies nice for you. Okay, then I'm gonna roll it again like that. This is our third time. I'm gonna roll it again. This is gonna be our fourth time. Each time making sure to rub back and forth so that fold stays nice and hard. And then a fifth time. So we're gonna roll it five times so that there's about this much paper left. Okay, and your roll should be about this big. But each time, since we rub back and forth, it's also gonna be nice and flat. Okay, then we're going to fold it with the roll on the inside like this. Let's line up the bottom and line up the side as best we can. Line up the top and then make a nice hard fold with your thumbnail back and forth on that middle fold. Okay, then I'm going to turn it so that the rolled part, and you can feel it, should be on the inside, is towards my left hand, okay? And that fold we just made is towards my stomach or towards you. All right, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna fold this piece down, but we're gonna leave a piece about an inch right here so that this wing on top is smaller here than this wing here, okay? So we're not literally opening it all the way up, we're folding it back on itself. So I've left a little piece like this and just folded it down. I'm using my thumbnail to crease all those folds and make sure they stay nice, okay? Then let's flip the whole thing over so the smooth side is out. Here's that fold we just made. Now we're going to bring the top here to the bottom here. And I'm gonna kind of hold that roll that we made just to protect it a little bit, like this, okay? You might wanna put your finger inside just to help that fold. I'm gonna line it up here on the top so it stays where I want it to be. And I'm gonna line it up here down at the bottom, okay? And as soon as it's lined up and I hold it a little bit, I'm gonna rub back and forth for a nice hard fold. I'm gonna lift it up and rub back and forth like that. All right, so our rolls on the outside here, our wings are approximately even. You're going to take one side wing just so it does more tricks for us. I'm gonna bend it up a little bit like this. Okay, I'm gonna turn it over to the other side and do the same thing for the other wing, okay? Make sure your roll's on the top of the plane, okay? And this V channel that we made by folding um, is up here like this, and you're ready to take it outside and fly your planes. Have fun with them. Bye.